to Oxen Stadium, respected and feared by all opponents. This might be, per capita, the loudest place in college football. Very tough environment for any visitor. Today, we have two of college football's elite colliding in a top five game. Both teams hungry to make a statement here. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Taking on the fourth ranked team, the Oregon Ducks. Three A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herb Street. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Turn it from near the goal line. And the coverage team able to bring him down. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. And looking to throw now on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Judkins. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. And completion makes it second and short. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Sets up as a third and three here on this opening possession. They'll try to run for the first down. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Interesting call here by the offense coordinator. Shows you the confidence that he has in his offensive line and running back. With the defense in great position to negate this play and bring up a fourth down. The four guys will line up to kick it away. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? It's a run to the left. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. And a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. So now from the 27, the offense faces a third and short. How aggressive will they play it? Can he get there on the ground? Jukes to get free. Game moves it to the 24. That's a fresh set of downs. That's a good, hard, tough running there to get that first down to keep this drive alive early in this game. The offense really asserting themselves. They're not thinking about a field goal. They're trying to put this ball in the end zone. And the Ducks come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. Making people miss. Tackle is made at the eight-yard line. It'll be first to go right there. One way to create a rhythm and really start to show your identity as an offense is to control the line of scrimmage. The offensive line here early getting a hat on a hat. And this back, as good as we've seen all year, with the ability to accelerate through the hole, positive yards, play after play here early in the game. Offense will take the penalty, move them a little farther away from their own goal line. The Ducks hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. And the defense smothers him for no gain. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play.
Defense getting very heavy here. Looking to stuff the run. They tackle him behind the line. A loss of four. Nice job by this defense on that second down. So we now have third down and goal. The offense could be thinking about four down situation. They need to put the ball into the end zone. They don't want to settle for a field goal here. The offense has been moving backwards here. Now a long way to go on third and goal. Back to throw. It's Gabriel. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit. This will be a chip shot from 25 yards out. And it sails right through the middle of the uprights. Solid kick. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Return starts from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? On first down, it's play action. The sure hands, it's Henderson. And you'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. I can see what the quarterback's trying to do here, Chris, and he gets the completion, but just no game. There's just no room to go after the catch. Important second down play coming up. Handoff here from the shotgun. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. Got him for a sack. A big play made by one of the senior leaders of this defense. They just felt that one coming. Third down and long. Those defensive linemen are in that sprinter stance. They know the offense is going to have to throw. Great job of using that athletic ability and speed to get after the quarterback to come up with that sack. What guys will bring their punt team on the field now? And he'll kick it away now for the second time. He boots it away from inside his own end zone. With the return, it's Johnson. And he's going to head out of bounds, but not before picking up some good yardage on the return. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? They bring him down to the 25. They're moving closer and closer to the red zone. Boy, good job up front by this offensive line. And a nice job by the back of finding that hole to pick up the first down. And Honestly, Chris, this is what I think about when I think of Oregon. I know the uniforms and the flash and the dash and all the different things that people associate with this program. This is what I think about. Toughness. Ability to run the ball when they have to to pick up first downs. And they did it right there. Good enough for first down yardage. Chris, the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then accelerate through it for a nice game. And the Ducks trying to cash in here in the red zone. In the red area, it's James. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Chris, it's the consistency of this back has given this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Ducks. 
Here they just rely on the big boys up front to get a good push with some tough yards to put six points up on the board. So they'll try to add to the lead now to the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Are coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the quarterback keeps it here. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Thurman. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain in that play. Well, they don't pick up the first down here, but if you can use the quick passing game to stay ahead of the chains, it definitely helps your offense. And if that defense starts to creep up and take that away, that's when you can take a shot downfield. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Looking to throw. It's Howard. The pass rush closing in. They chase him down. They tried to run for it, but it'll bring up fourth down. I just love the fact he doesn't take a sack here. In fact, I'm sure he can imagine hearing his coach saying it's third down. Do not take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't quite get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yards. And he boots it out of bounds. Not very long. Bringing it back, it's Johnson. Coverage team brings down the returner. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. They punch it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Second down after that run on the previous play. The back's got it again. Breaking free at midfield. An explosive play across midfield all the way to the 41. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. It keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense and your rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off a of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Defense makes the tackle as the final seconds of this first quarter run out. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Oh, what a move. 
They stop him at the 22. This offense in great scoring position now. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown you everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. The Ducks moving quickly down the field here. It's a quarterback keeper. Watch the spin move. Fighting off the defender. They've got him, but not before a solid gain on the ground there. Oh, the read option here. The quarterback keeps it. I thought he was going to get out and maybe take this downfield for big yards. The defense, very fortunate to keep him to a shorter gain. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. They're going to run the option. That's a big game. Great decision to keep the ball and pick up the first down. I love the toughness of this quarterback to be able to pick up some good yards like this, to move the chains, keep this drive alive. His team will feed off of his energy when he makes plays like this. And the Ducks trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And he's finally tackled at the three. Defense getting pushed backwards. You know, when the real estate gets tight inside the 10-yard line, you love a play caller who has the ability to either run it or throw it. Because that puts so much pressure on that defensive coordinator to know how to line up. It's not just a one-dimensional attack he's dealing with. Looking to the end zone. And they score, but there is a penalty marker on the field. Let's find out if this one's going to count. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Give it to the back again. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. What a great job there by the defense, reading that play, pursuing to the football. Nice loss of yardage there on second goal. Now it's third and goal for the offense. Offense moving backwards here, a long way from the goal line now. Third and goal, looking to throw for it. And it's caught. Touchdown, Oregon. Boy, what a job by the offensive coordinator going to that five wide receiver set, creating the one-on-one -on -one matchups, finding the most favorable matchup, and then going to that receiver for the score. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team is on the field to move this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen. That's good coverage there. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. They stop him right at the 24. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. The Buckeyes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. To throw, it's Howard. Incomplete, very lucky to avoid an interception there. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands. Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. He's going to take off here. 
And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. This is a nice job here by this defense on third down. They take away all the options downfield, and they recognize the quarterback scramble. He almost comes up with his first down, but they keep him short to set up this fourth down. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Running it back, it's Johnson. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Touchdown, Ducks. The special teams make it a huge impact. A special teams touchdown. Potential momentum-changing play in this game. But that was just a thing of beauty to watch this return. The gunners were flying down. He's able to avoid them. He picks up a couple blocks. And then you could see him gaining momentum and confidence as he was getting downfield. Actually, all the way to the end zone. Automatic on the PAT. Here's the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. Returner looking to make a play here. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. You know, the good thing about this play is it's not an explosive play, but it really gives you a chance now to be able to pick up a first down here on this next play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Trying to find some room. It's Henderson. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And they don't block the defensive end and show some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. They bring him down, but a simple quarterback keeper for a solid gain and a fresh set of downs. The Buckeyes getting set on first and ten. And they'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. They'll tackle him right at the 31. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football. And by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Again, makes it second and medium. pre-snap motion from the offense and now the handoff now uh, they test the middle of the defense but get nothing boy this defense is strong up front linebackers are flying downhill able to make plays against this run game now they get this offense to another third down now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead they punted four times already on the verge of a fifth they can't convert this third down dropping back it's Howard Heavy pressure, hit as he throws. The pass is off target, he got hit as he threw as the third down pressure works. Well, the defense picks the right time to get after this quarterback. Third down, critical down in distance, doing a good job of dialing things up and good coverage downfield. He didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. Buckeyes will have to punt this one away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. On the return, it's Johnson. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. The last drive, the ground game, was so successful. Ended in a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can respond to it this time. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down play coming up for this offense. The shotgun running play call. Fights through the tackler. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. 
Well, I thought he might shake free there. He's able to break one tackle, but give credit to the secondary. Good job of coming up and run support. Crucial third down play right here. And the back now goes in motion. Third down, out of the shotgun. And he'll just throw it away now. Couldn't make anything happen. And that's now going to bring up fourth down. Man, the quarterback here just threw this football away on third and short. Starting to wonder about this running game right now. If on third and short, you decide to throw for it, maybe they're looking to give the defense a new look or maybe keep them guessing. Let's see what they do here on fourth down. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. This one will be fair caught. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. So it's second down and long here from the 13. Back to pass. It's Howard. Running back has it on the screen now. And they're finally able to stop him. The great execution on the screen pass. Fool the defense there. Well, this is great execution here on this screen play to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. And I think in the process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. And there's the handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Man, this defense continues to just be physical. It's a line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back to throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Caught behind the line. It's Henderson. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27 to see if the defense brings the blitz. Play action fake, looking to throw. Looking for the wide out. Oh, that one's picked off. Great move there. And that's a solid return after the interception. I'm going to give the defensive coordinator a tip of the cap here. They went with dime coverage with six defensive backs, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. And with those defensive backs, they're able to play better in space. They recognize the ball, step in front of it for a nice interception. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. The Ducks are in the red zone now. Back to throw. It's Gabriel. Tight end makes the grab. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Launching one to the end zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. See if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. You snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. 
The defense stops him there on the scramble, close to the goal line, but not in. I love to see this by this quarterback. And instead of giving up on the play and just throwing it away or trying to put one into coverage, he just takes off, reminds his defense what he can do with his legs, and almost took it to the house. Now a crucial third down and goal. He'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. The kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He'll bring it out from his end zone. And the returner will be brought down. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. This has been a rough first half. They'll have to regroup in an admission. But in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. The defense has got to do a better job of communicating. That is a wide open receiver. They catch a break by an errant throw by the quarterback. Second and ten here. Dropping back. It's Howard. Bringing pressure. Sacked. It's a loss back to the six. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look. And they'll make an adjustment for this important play. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know, this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. And the defense will spend their second time out here to make some adjustments. The Buckeyes will bring their punt team on the field. It's a rough series for the offense, and now he's on to punt it away. Just able to get it away. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field, trying to build on a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. Last time they had it. Caught over the middle, it's Ferguson. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Ducks! A tight end is a matchup nightmare for this defense, Kirk, and they made him pay that time. This tight end is so dangerous, and he's trying to remind his quarterback, hey, guys, don't forget about me. Receivers are getting most of the attention from the secondary, but I bet now they're going to be a lot more focused on what this guy can do. Kicking team on now for the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime with the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. And here's the return from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point toward the second half? Grab down the middle. It's Tate. Brought down at the 28, and that's good enough for a first down. One thing we know for sure, I don't know if it's a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. To the air. It's Howard. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. And they get him down in what will be the final play of this first half. The minute's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. The Buckeyes will kick.
kick this away to get the second half going. He'll take the return and try to get some better field position. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? The junior able to bring him down quickly. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Going for a big play downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Touchdown, Oregon. To stretch the lead, the route is on. Chris, I don't blame him at all for taking advantage of this matchup. Put that receiver out on the left. If he gets the matchup you like, take a shot downfield on the post and hit it for a big touchdown. Extra point try coming now. PAT as good as they continue to pull away even more. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fields it just outside the goal line. And they've got the return to Corral. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's Scott. But a huge collision. Blow delivered there by the linebacker. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into. But the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Dropping back. It's Howard. He'll throw it now. Caught quickly. And he'll pick up the first down. Stopped at the 27. Well, the defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage. And he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. Here's a first and ten play. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. Oh, the sack is made there by the freshman. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. up here trying to make something happen on the third and long. Drops back from the shotgun looking for an open man. Quarterback escapes the pocket. They'll bring him down short of the marker and now it's going to be fourth down. Well the quarterback knew the one thing he can't do here is take a sack and in this case he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. Now he didn't pick up the first down but he gave him a shot. He'll get some love from his guys for that effort. What guys will bring their punt team onto the field? Oh, and he's got some space here. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. It's a big gain across midfield all the way to the 39-yard line. 
Hey, when it's your day, it's your day. This offense, and especially this running back, enjoying a monster day, putting up huge numbers and having a nice, big, comfortable lead. That's a strong run. Keeps the drive going. First down now. Same tail back, another carry. And the broken tackle there produces a solid game. Well, I know this defense works very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Back to pass. It's Gabriel. Throws it to the right. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Touchdown, Ducks. And the beatdown continues. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good as they build on this big lead. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. He's up three yards, so second and seven. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. sets up an important third down call for this offense. Looking to pass. It's Howard. Defense is coming after him. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. will have to take it away. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain in return. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Grab down the middle. It's Ferguson. At the 10 now. Touchdown, Oregon. And the route is on. Well, this guy has a knack for the end zone, doesn't he? That's two touchdowns for this guy today. And I don't know if he's done yet. So they'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. teams on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He's going to return it from near the goal line. 
and the coverage team ends him in and brings him down. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Went backwards on first down, so it's second and long here from the 10. Receiver in motion now. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Finds an open target on the left side. And it'll be smarter right at the line for no game. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? And he drops back in the gun, lofting it toward the left sideline. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. And the ball is away from his own end zone. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Gets made on the out route. Runner with an impressive spin move there. They'll bring him down with a spin cycle put on that defender. My goodness. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Off the play fake on first down. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Touchdown, Ducks. Stretching the lead. This one is getting up. Well, that's just textbook right there. Great timing and recognition by the quarterback. Great route by this receiver. He gave a nice stem to the outside before he went to the post. Perfect timing, tough to defend, and an easy touchdown for this offense. And the PAT is good as they continue to pull away even more. The kickoff team on the field now is it's set to send this one away. Return starts from inside the five. The returner tackled right there. That's where they'll start the drive. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. It's an out route, the catch made, and a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. I understand the concept of bringing the blitz, and you hope that it gets home. But if you don't, you leave your corner in man-to-man -man situation against this wide receiver, that is a tough ass for this corner, and he's going to lose that battle more often than not. On the ground, it's Henderson. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Oh, well, how about that? Another call and another bad result for this offense. Kind of a microcosm of how this entire football game is gone. They're just trying to bleed that clock and get out of here. Nothing working at all. Second down play coming up. To throw, it's Howard. He's running out of time here. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Well, Chris, after another sack, these guys are going to be facing another third down and long situation. Seems like that's been the theme in this football game. They cannot stay on schedule offensively, making it very easy for the defense to get after the quarterback when you know he's in a must-throw situation. After consecutive losses, it is a miracle here on third and a mile. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Let's it go quickly. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. 
And I think the quarterback here forces the ball because it's third down. He's got to be careful having the ball on his own side of the field. That ball was almost picked off. The Buckeyes bring their punt team onto the field. With the return, it's Johnson. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And the Oregon offense comes back down on the field. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. Boy, this back is having some kind of game today. He just continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over 150 yards now, and this defense has no real answers in trying to keep him contained. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. And this one is getting ugly. That's another strike from this quarterback, Kirk. He is having himself a game. This guy's just having one of those days you dream about against the secondary. Let's also give credit to the wide receivers doing a nice job of getting open and the big fellas up front for giving him enough time to throw. Now the all-important extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And the returner is brought down. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away, and they finally get things going this time. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. Chris, I always talk about this. You can always gauge a team's toughness as a group by how willing they are to tackle with their corners. Here, the corner shows you he's not just out there to cover, does a good job of being physical and making that play. First down loss sets up second and long from the 11. Running out of time in the pocket. It's a sack, they trap him inside the five. If I'm on this offensive line, I would not want to look at the game film after their performance today. It's almost like they've been moonwalking backwards the entire game, getting pushed all around by this defensive front. Chris, they've already given up six sacks alone in this game. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. The Buckeyes will send the punt team onto the field. That's the end of the third quarter. On comes the punting team now. It's fourth down. Offense goes backwards on this drive. He's on to punt it away now. And he's able to get the boot away. Bringing it back, it's Johnson. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. He hands it off from the gun. A gain of two yards, now it's second down and eight. You see, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound, and it's really solid defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Gonna run it. It's James. Great cut. They whiff on him. They stop him at the 22. This offense in great scoring position now. 
what a shock, right? I mean, this guy once again gets his hands on the football, and great things seems to happen. He's over 120 yards on the day, and it's really been a combination of his vision and speed along with really dominant offensive line play. First down, looking to throw the football. Caught in the backfield, it's James. Jukes to get past the man. Both out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. And the Ducks will line up here on first down and goal. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Touchdown, Ducks! To stretch the lead, the route is on. Well, they just continue to do everything right. This offense has looked outstanding from the opening series all the way up to this point, doing everything that's asked of them. Great execution and put another touchdown up on the board. And they get set now to try the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now they get set to kick it away. He'll return it from inside the five. The Turner brought down, sets up the next drive. Here comes the part of the Ohio State offense onto the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out, and they put something together in this drive. Caught over the middle, it's Henderson. And the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Brings up second down. Getting set. Here's second down. Scanning the field. It's Howard. Hit just as he throws the ball. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. I mean, this defense is having their way with this offensive line. That poor quarterback doesn't have a chance. Every time he drops back the throw, he's getting ear hole. Better make some adjustments up front to give your poor quarterback a chance. They're going to throw for it on third and short. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. Because I'm really surprised by the way this game has turned out. That's another sack by this defense. They've done such a great job of preparing a plan to get ready for one of the top quarterbacks in the country. They've kept him out of sync, applied pressure, and a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead right now. Guys will send their one team off the field. And the return ends with the man stepping out of bounds. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments? Come up with a stop here. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield of the 48. You know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given a the quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run, really, whatever they've wanted to. That's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche of this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want whenever we feel like doing it. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held them just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Shotgun formation, here's an inside give. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Brings up 
That run sets up a critical third down play. Takes the handoff. It's James. That moves the football inside the 40, and it's another first down. How impressive these guys been up front today. Big third down. Know what you need to do. Get the first down. Continue to hold on to that lead. Continue to work clock. And get that much closer to securing a victory. The Ducks keep the football on the move. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Chris, the defense dials up the blitz. They're unable to get into the backfield, giving the running back enough room. I'll tell you, the linebacker makes a great play just to come up with a tackle here. Second down, that run on the previous play. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. Just a great play by the running back here, finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. And the Ducks begin a new series here, first and ten. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And it's incomplete, very near the goal line. Boy, not only did they drop what looked like an interception in their own end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum in their favor. Second down after the incompletion. Handoff here from the shotgun. But they tackle him after just a two-yard gain, so it sets up a third and eight. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Run that, Garrett. Picks up six. Fourth down coming up. And the coach chooses to go Number for a field goal attempt here. On the field goal. Right down the middle. And they add to their lead. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after adding to this big lead, they are set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. The returner is brought down. Let's start with the next drive. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Sacked into loss back to the six. And how about the job by this defense? I mean, we really expected this offense to be able to come into this game, put up big yards and a lot of points. And here we are in the fourth quarter. Collectively, they don't even have 200 yards total offense, and they just seem to be out of sync. Give all the credit to the defensive coordinator and those defensive players and the way they're putting this pressure on this quarterback and this offense. Backed up the six-yard line. It's second and long. Looking to pass. It's Howard. Fires it to the wideout. Makes the catch downfield. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it. Offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. From the shotgun, drops back. Let's a fly out of the wideout. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. And a huge gain across midfield, all the way to the 40-yard line. Great execution here by this offense against zone coverage with a curl route. 
hit that last step in your drop. You see where you want to go with it. Put it right on his shoulder for a first down. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Grab down the middle. It's a buka. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. A well, fourth quarter down by a couple of scores. This offense doing everything they can to not just score points, but do it in a hurry, try to preserve the clock. Here, they're tackled in bounds. They don't pick up a first down. Good job by this defense to keep that clock moving. That completion sets up a second down play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Caught over the middle. It's Henderson. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Well, we just continue to see this defense make great plays, especially with their tackling. And the awareness to understand we're in the fourth quarter, you're trying to keep this offense inbounds so they keep that clock moving. A short completion sets up a third down play. Looking to throw it again. And he lofts it toward the sideline. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. You've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. This will be an attempt from 52 yards. Let's see if he's got the distance. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. So they tack on three points, but still a large deficit. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fielded in the end zone. It's Robinson. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Boy, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Use the running game to chew on this clock now. Breaks loose at the 40. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. At the 10. Touchdown, Oregon. And the beatdown continues. That's another touchdown for these guys. And they have had a day they had dreamed about. Whether it's the quarterback, the running back, the receivers, the offensive line, the entire unit has been dominant. Try to add to the lead now with a PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. This has been a demolition, a monumental beatdown. Time to just put the controller down and walk away. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Hey, there's the execution that's been lacking most of this game, but they'll take it. You know, you try to do everything that you can to learn and try to build for the future. And at this point in the game, it's obviously over but you love to see the offense coordinator still giving this quarterback opportunities. Dropping back, it's Howard. Pressure is coming. 
Cannot escape and down he goes. This defense has been lights out today. Great job once again applying pressure on this quarterback. This poor quarterback, he doesn't know what he has seen today. Not able to get anything going to be able to try to compete in this game. They're down big, and now they're just hoping for that clock to run out. Defense are going to keep the pressure on. Third down coming up. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And the clock winding down. They'll take a deep shot. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. They've really protected home turf well here today. What a satisfying victory. Fights through a tackle. Hat on a hat up front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that previous play. Ball handed off. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Look, I realize on any play call that is properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Well, frankly, Kirk, we hope for games that are a little bit more suspenseful. This one got out of hand early, ended up being a rout. That's putting it nicely, Chris, right? This was a complete blowout, a solid performance in all areas by this team. Their coaches should be proud of how they looked out there today. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.